Hello everyone and welcome to another session of Slay at Home, your quarantine makeup workshop. It's me, Rai Kontawi. Panibagong araw, panibagong uh, topic na naman ang ating pag-uusapan ngayon. Kaya naman, uh, grab something, your drink, your coffee bilang sa mga invested sa workshop na to at talagang gumigising ng umaga or ng maaga para lang notive squad para kayo talagang una makapanood. Good morning to everyone and good day to everyone who's watching or who's joining this session. Previously, pinag-usapan natin ang base makeup, kung paano ninyo hahanapin ang tamang shade para sa inyo at kung paano ninyo magagamit ang concealer, foundation, and correctors to achieve that second skin finish at pre-nactice din natin ang no makeup makeup look. Kung hindi nyo pa ito napapanood, go ahead and check it out on this link or on the description box below. Immediately, kung talagang into makeup kayo, alam ninyo na browse lang ating pag-uusapan ngayon. So get your stuff ready, bring your uh, brow products, whatever you have at home, and we will practice how to achieve the Kilai is Life look. So I will see you right after this break. We all know that the brows frame the eyes, but we also have to consider the other effects of brows in your overall look. So this is my personal tip. You have to remember na yung brows nakakapagpabago kayo ng age natin. So usually, di ba yung mga Koreans, kapag straight yung brows, they give this illusion of like a younger look. Kapag naman manipis and then arched, mas nagiging mature ang inyong itsura. So you have to consider the brow style, para magmatch sa inyong age. Mood and expression is also very important. You will see that yung brows natin are the most expressive when it comes to yung sa face natin, sa overall face. Dahil may muscle tayo dito sa forehead kung saan makita mo yung brows madalas ang gumagalaw. And of course, your face shape. Alam nyo ba na pag sinabing face, ang una nakikita ng tao is from your brows to your lips. So for example, ito yung ulo ko and magsisimula yung brows ko dito, mas malaki tignan yung face score or sabihin ng ibang tao, para ah, malaki yung mukha niya. Pero kapag mas maliit or makikita mo mas kumpo yung facial features mo, mas mukhang maliit yung face mo. Pero yung ulo mo, it depends kung anong size ng ulo mo. So tandaan ninyo na ang face o yung frame ng face nagsastart Sa kilay. So you have to take note of the height of your brows and then again, the style of your brows or the shape of your brows. How to assess your brows? So bago kayo pumili ng products for your brows, kailangan alamin niyo muna itong mga specific factors na ito. Number one, yung strands, kung gaano kakapal yung strands ng inyong brows. So it's either thin or thick. So usually, pag bata tayo, nandiyan yung mas thin or finer ang ating strands and kapag tumatanda, kumakapal na. And then, you have the density of the brow strands. So merong sparse or full. Kapag sparse, meaning kalat-kalat ang inyong strands. For example, in my case, this brow is actually fuller than this side. So dito, mas sparse yung area dito than this one. From there, mas madaling pumili ng mga brow products. And kung Anong style yung babagay sa inyong brows or your overall look? Isa sa mga nakakaligtaan ng marami ang grooming. And once you groom your brows, half the job is already done. It's sobrang dali. If you decide to keep your untouched brows, you may use a spoolie to just groom everything in place. So this is one way to groom your, and this is actually the friendliest way to groom your brows. And that is to keep the direction of your strands uniform. And the next one, kung meron kayo mga straight strands, ito yung shaving or yung paggamit ng razor. But this one, medyo delikado siya for like beginners talaga na walang experience na mag-shave because manipis ang balat natin dito sa lids natin at maaaring mahiwan yung balat niyo. And then you also have something that is more beginner friendly or mas safe and that is plucking or using tweezers. However, ito yung mas masakit dahil talagang hinihila niyo yung brows and ito yung prone sa chicken skin and redness and you don't want that to happen, yung redness, especially when it's pre-makeup. One thing or one way to groom also is by waxing. Waxing is the use of wax when it's melted and when you apply it and then you pull it, masasama yung strands. This is usually done by a professional because uh, Kung maruno kayo sa bahay, why not? But it's easier when it's done by, by, by a professional para talaga nakapikit kayo at para mas banat ang inyong uh, kilay. And then you also have threading, of course. Uh, with the use of thread, literal by thread, also done by a professional. And I think it's easier when it's done by, by a professional dahil mas ma-shape ang inyong kilay. Ito yung parang mas mabilis na process compared to plucking. Kasi yung plucking, di ba, parang um, isa-isa. Itong threading, minsan pag dinadaanan lang niya yung hair, yun na na, nahihila niya na. And then, of course, you also have 
trimming. Yung trimming naman, paggamit ng brow scissors, usually ito yung maliliit na mga gunting, and then ginugupitin nyo yung mga kilay, especially nako ito, napaka-importante. Kapag nakikita nyo yung mahaba na, yan, for example, in my case, mahaba na siya, kapag nakikita nyo yung sobrang haba na, pero kasi yung direction kasi ng strands ko, pagilid kapag grinom ko lang siya na ganyan, okay naman siya, pero may iba sa inyo talaga na yung strands pababa, at makikita nyo sobrang haba na ng kilay, please trim. <laughs> Ayaw nyo na may bangs ang kilay. So, it's very important. Once you've groomed your brows, ready na kayong i-apply itong mga produktong ito. At kailangan, alam din natin kung saan babagay itong mga products na ito. And I will give you like the basic uh, types of brow products. We'll start with the pencil. So, yung pencil usually yung mga tinatasahan natin. Um, and it comes in, it's either like a hard formula or the soft formula. So, pencil is a beginner-friendly uh, brow product kahit anong klaseng um, style, pwede ninyong gamitin ang brow pencil. And ito yung mga mabilis. May mga pencils na na-retractable so madaling na silang gamitin na uh, adjust mo yung intensity or yung pressure ng inyong uh, application. So, makokontrol mo kung gaano kakapal yung product at uh, kung gaano kanipis yung product na kailangan. So, yung, yung effect naman ng brow pencils usually defined or yung filled in brows. And then you have pomade or gels. Ito usually, it comes in like very like thick consistency and you use an angled brush to apply this. This achieves um, like defined brows because usually they, they're very dark. But if you choose uh, like a shade na talagang hindi naman sobrang dark, you can achieve like the strand work. Pero depende yan sa brush na gagamitin mo. Next, liquid products. Ito yung kapag gusto mong ma-achieve yung parang untraceable na brow makeup. So ito yung nakaka-create ng strand-like finish because yung container niya or yung packaging niya ay parang eyeliner. Sobrang subtle ng kulay niya pero talagang may effect and may effect pero hindi mo mahalata yung effect. And I personally love using liquid brow products. And then you have powder brow products. Ito naman kapag gusto mo maka-achieve ng diffused and soft brows. And also kapag binabasa mo yung certain uh, brow products, which actually usually hindi mo nababasa ang brow products kasi kapag gusto mo nang nababasa ang brow uh, makeup, you use an eyeshadow. Pero usually mga brow products, talagang ginagamita mo lang sila ng brush and then... Um, Ayun na na, ilalagay mo na sila sa brows. Pero may mga formula din na iba na powder brow product na nababasa mo. Yung iba hindi. So, depende na lang. Pag gusto mong mas intense, basahin mo. Pag gusto mong mas soft and diffused, then just do or uh, apply it dry. Last but definitely not the least, brow setter. Ito yung mga brow mascaras. So, they set your strands in place and they can also give a tint to your brows. Let's say, for example, if you want to lighten your brow strands because it's too thick, then you may use a brow mascara with tint or lighter tint. But if you want uh, to set your brows na walang kulay, maraming brow mascaras or maraming brow setters na transparent. At malamang, misa ako confuse kayo, paano ba dapat yung brow shape? Actually, for me, just follow your natural brow shape. Pero, kung gusto nyo talaga ng universal or parang safer or fastest way para ma-determine yung brow shape ninyo, ay, you will use the 45 or the golden ratio. So on the sides of the nose, which is this one, hindi dito, straight, and then mark. So dito dapat, pwede mag-start ang aking kilay. Now look straight again, and then 45 degrees, or follow kung saan yung gilid ng iris, which is, sorry, which is this one, yung mata ko. Mark it. So pag ganyan siya. So that would be the arch point. And then from the side of your nose to the side of your eye. And that should be the end of my brows. After this break, a beauty brand which holds the biggest brow collection in the beauty industry will be sharing their brow expert tips. So don't go away. We'll be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, I am so happy to introduce our special guests. They're actually like the powerhouse team of Benefit Philippines and they I've chosen Benefit dahil number one they have what you call para hindi lang ako magkamali they have the Benefit Brow Search Competition and I've never heard of any friend <laughs> with a brow competition and also <laughs> it is pretty much established that Benefit is known for the brows. Not only do they um, sell, not only do they have makeup and um, other products, but when you go inside their stores, actually, they have brow services, grooming services. And with that said, there is um, 
parang they well deserved that benefit is the brow authority in the beauty industry. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Tasha, Selena, and Zari. And not to mention Zari and Selena are national brow artists. Tama ba yung pagkakasabi ko? Wow, ladies and gentlemen, benefit uh-huh. Philippines! So I'm going to start by asking, Pagdating sa face type natin or sa face shape, may ideal shape right na parang oval. I wonder kung meron din bang like universal or ideal brow style. And siguro let's start with let's say Zari, who's a national brow artist for Benefit. For you, I think you've handled so many brows. Ano yung Yes, oh my goodness. <laughs> ano yung sa tingin mo in your like experience in your like career, ano yung pinakabagay na brow style for everybody? So, um, I think it really varies. Like, I can't say that there's just one for everyone because everyone I meet is working towards a different brow goal. Um, for example, before when I was just starting out, everyone was trying to achieve that, like, um, Tidy Jenner brow, the Instagram brow, super clean and crisp. And then suddenly there was like, all of our celebrities sporting the very feathery brow. Um, we'd see our like really big celebrities would stop actually like removing some of the hairs, and then they would just let it be a lot more natural. So a lot of people were asking for that also, and then now um, like I think everyone started watching Korean dramas um, even more on Netflix. So now I get so many questions about how to achieve straight brows, especially since people are wearing masks now and they want to know, like they want to experiment more with their brow shape. So I don't think there's a universal brow for everyone. And something that I always tell people is that you don't have to have the same brow style um, every single day. Ano pinaka magandang tip Selena for eto mga nakakalbo na ano? Parang almost non-existent brows na. Anong, and anong best products na gamitin for certain uh, brow conditions? <laughs> for, um, for, for example, if you have sparse eyebrows, for me personally, um, you can start with brow bow conditioning primer. Because it's... There is a brow a, primer. Yeah. It's a brow primer. At the same time, it will help your brows grow healthier. So, for example, if you have sparse eyebrows, if you use it, because aside from using it as a primer, you can also use it as a um, as a nighttime routine. So you put it before you go to bed, because it contains um, certain proteins that will help your brows to look really like healthier and thicker. And then, of course, you pair it with a product like. Kimmy Brow can also help your brow look thicker and then Kabrow naman will help your brows. Like if you have non-existent eyebrows, you can use Kabrow talaga. Like Kabrow is everything. And also, I think mga karelay, for Tash, kasi si Tash talaga, pag tinignan niya yung Instagram, nako, may titi- may, meron niya jer- talaga, ipapakita niya yung before niya and it's unbelievable. <laughs> Right? And yeah. I think, Tash, gifted ka na when it comes to like um doing your brows or did you start talaga I mean, um, struggling before, and I think, um, marami ring makakarelate to those na hindi talagang hindi pa maruno magpantay. As let's say for beginners, what's your technique in in pantaying? Pantaying. <laughs> pantaying. <laughs> pantaying. <laughs> in doing your brows well, evenly. Well, to be honest, you remember when there was that challenge, yung ten year challenge. I couldn't post mine because my brows were so bad. As in, like, really bad. No, but like, um, I know that, you know, I also went to makeup school really quickly, really basic course before. But I noticed that was still during the time that brows weren't as big. But then I noticed 2016 onwards, after launching the collection, I actually had products that really work for my personal brow problem. So, I know, like, you saw my pictures, wala talaga masyadong hair. Like, there is, but it's very sparse. I, I've mapped my brows up to now. Up to now. Even if, like, I've been doing it for years, just because my arch, personally, hindi sila pantay. I, I work with what I have, and then I just fill in where the sparse areas are. And then afterwards, I'm like, oh, no, bahala na. May bangs. <laughs> just to, like, to cover it for a while. But, you know, it really makes a difference. And, for me, people get so surprised when I tell them, guys, wala talagang masyadong hair. 
but that's the power of makeup, I guess. For everyone who's joining this workshop, is they're going to do um, their brows in for less than five minutes. So let's say in two minutes. Two minutes. Mm -hmm. Each of you answer yes or no. Is it possible to do your brows in under two minutes? And if yes, can you give each one of you, can you give at least like one product that they must have? To achieve Ooh, okay. like their brows and actually if possible there's this trend lang ngayon, like you know the lifted the foxy eyes oh mm. right yeah, yeah. and and nakikita mo it's actually bella hadid tama ba yung parang pinaka peg and her brows yep. talaga, parang lagi siyang yeah. lagi siyang may papatayin <laughs> lagi siyang <laughs> may, lagi siyang may ano so for you again, is it possible in under two minutes? And what's like a must-have if you can use one product? So let's start with Zari. Um, for me, super possible. I don't know if it's just because I'm like very um hairy in the brow department. <laughs> but if I just had to pick like one product, I, it's going to be Gimme Brow Plus because this is what I use like all throughout college. Is this um, I, I have the like everything. Oh, it's the that one for clear. This one is um it has fibers and it's tinted. So um what I love about this one, which I always um tell, especially girls who approach me who are younger and they ask about what they need in their brows. And usually those younger girls haven't really touched or cleaned their brows yet. So they have so much hair to work with and they don't really need um you don't really need, they don't really need to carve out their brow because I think it gives a much more youthful look. And when you're that young, you wouldn't want to look older than you are. Um, so when I use the Kimmy Brow Plus, especially in college, when I was prioritizing sleep over um, getting ready in the morning, like this one literally, um, I would just brush all my hairs and then something I learned is like brush it in the opposite direction para kumapit talaga on each strand and then it has like um it doesn't have the hold of like let's say a clear brow gel but it has just enough hold um so that even if um you're active or like you sweat or you're kind of moving your hair around your face like your brows really will stay in place so at least this one it kind of does it all it tints it volumizes and it has a little bit of hold already well, for me naman, because my case is different. Zari kasi has fuller eyebrows, but my eyebrows, it's thinner. So for me, I personally recommend Brow Contour Pro. Because oh, it has, yeah, it's, yeah. Ano, it's highly pigmented. So if you want like drastic ano talaga, difference within two minutes, see, I use this one. So it has two shades because of the pencil, so you can control it. So the darker one, I put it at the parang tail part, saka sa middle part ng brows. And then I use the lighter shade the front part and then that's it plus it has concealer but to clean the eyebrows and then it has eyeliner highlighter okay, so i like that our answers are all different so mine would be the brow Super. styler i don't i don't have it with me it's in the bathroom sorry here i have brow it styler. oh there perfect yes okay. yes, yes. so brow styler for an retouch yesterday actually yes perfect no because i like it because it's two in one so if yeah. Selena showed you a 4 in 1 brow pencil, that, that one is 2 in 1 in 1. It has powder in the end, and on the other side, it's the wax pencils. So for me, I noticed because some people, when they're in a hurry, they like to use one or the other. Or of course, if you have more time, you can use both. But for me, when I'm really just in a, like, no time to get ready, I use the powder. And then, only when I have extra time, that's when I put pencil this area that have no hair. So it really depends on first your brow dilemma. It depends on the look you're going for and how much time you have. So I like how versatile it is. You can use one end, the other end, or both together. Or both. Correct me if I'm wrong, that the brow product is not like benefits parang tawag doon, like flagship or yung pinaka nakilala sila, like the very first. Mm, it's not the, the very first product that we got known for is really Benetton. The yeah, right. lip and cheek tint that we started from the 70s pa. But I think especially when we've had brow products in the 70s, but 2016 really changed the game for us. That was when we launched the brow collection, which still happens to be currently the biggest collection of brow products in the world. For us, the problem of brows never goes away. So there's always something new to create, new shades to come up with, new formulas. So parang ang dami pa that we have to show and to share with you guys. So yeah, we have so many products coming up. I mean, given the whole COVID situation, 
there were some delays, unfortunately, but the good news is it's not stopping there. So last question actually for uh, for Zari and um, Selena, who are national brow artists. And um, for everyone who's watching, makeup artists and aspiring makeup artists, what does it take to be a national brow artist? And also, um, right? What does it take to be a brow expert? <laughs> Wait, um, 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 I used to be the national brow artist, but Zari is the is our current national brow artist. So it's a long shot for for yeah. 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 So for my term as a national brow pass artist, the crown. Yes. I pass the crown. Pass the brow product. Pass the brow product. Pass the Zari, take it away. What does it take to be a national brow artist? Oh my goodness. Um. Well. <laughs> I think, well, the artistry has to be there, of course. Um, and, well, I really study every product we have. Um, and actually, it's it's funny because around this time last year was like my first week of work. <laughs> and my yeah. first day of work was in Hong Kong during the National Brow Artist Conference. So I was the new girl with um, National Brow Artists from like Malaysia and Taiwan and China. Australia. And then, they've all been yeah. there for a long time and I was there and I was new and I really had to prove myself. So it's, it's a very digital heavy job as well, which um, I was like, like, luckily I was used to it because I was also like creating content for um, other brands. And then I, I interned in Benefit for a little bit before um, going to makeup school. And then after, when I got um, home from makeup school, I think Tasha messaged me if she, she was asking if um, I was interested in being the national brow artist. So it was actually like um, a scary process. There were like two interviews and I had to, <laughs> yeah. I had to submit like brow transformation um, photos that they would really inspect to the last detail. And aside from that, like I had to be certified to wax because of course benefit um, one of the few brands that have services aside from products. Right. Um, but like, yeah, I never stop learning. I always have to be updated with the trends and like down to the shades of our pencils. Like I, I have to know the difference of a 4 and a 4.5. Um, but it's fun. I've met so many people. I've like encountered the most difficult eyebrows. Or, and some are like really easy and, and it, it's a lot of fun and when I tell people what my job is um, it's nice to see their reaction like even in the airport um, in immigration and they're like so what's your job and I'm just like oh, I'm a national brow artist <laughs> yeah but it's true I think parang very few people ang meron lang ganong national brow artist na but, all right. Kila is life. So, ganun, yeah, ganun I'm ganun a testament to that. Benefit. <laughs> I am so happy. This is actually a really good decision that Benefit really just um, values brows so much. And which is like the essence, which is the very um, reason why this session is, why eyebrows has its own session in this whole workshop. Is that because eyebrows really make a huge difference on the face and so thank you so much ladies thank you so much benefit philippines everyone thank you for thank joining. you thanks for having us thank you for joining and i hope you guys are um safe and we'll see you soon you too. thank you, you guys bye, bye. hindi pa rin ako makaget over talaga national brow artist what a unique title to have no it's like being a makeup artist, pero meron kang specialization sa brows, and that's something very special. So once again, thank you so much, Benefit Philippines, for joining us today. At for sure, maraming nakuha mga tips and tricks ang mga nakakasama natin ngayon sa workshop. Dahil for this practical um, segment and for our challenge, this is exciting because one of the trends that's happening right now is the lifted brows or like the fox, foxy eye um, style. And you will see that with that foxy eye, it comes with that lifted brow. And the lifted brow is actually a good practice to so number one, to reshape your brows. And then you also have to um, consider um, choosing the right products to achieve the lifted brow. Na talagang hindi siya, hindi siya like super crisp, hindi siya super detailed. Pero meron siyang shape. Kailangan defined yung shape, pero hindi kailangan crisp. 
alam mo yun? And then, kailangan gagamitin kayo ng ibang products to achieve um, that certain shape. So, to do so, maaari kayong gumamit ng mga concealers. Let's say, for example, kung gusto nyo mabura ito, and para ma-achieve nyo yung lifted brow. First things first, kailangan tayo mag-groom ng brows. So, for the lifted brow, kailangan mas mataas itong tail kaysa dito sa uh, head. I, I call this like the head of, or the beginning of the brows. So, I will be using a concealer na hindi siya sobrang light because I will be covering um, like a dark, let's say for example, meron kayong strands dyan. So, medyo maitim siya. So, just like that, then I will get like a brush. Diba? Hindi ako nag-ready ng brush. Just pat it flat. Of course, when there's concealer, you have to set this later on with the powder. And then, let's go back to grooming again. And I will be using a brow pencil. And the reason why is that because I want this, yung talagang parang itong shape na to, para maka-achieve ng strand-like finish. So, I will be starting from the tail. Actually, I will be starting from the arch. And I will start from the tail because... Ako minsan gumaganon ako ng mga muscles ko. I let my muscles work. Just draw very gently. And then, feel free to go back to your spoolie and just blend everything or diffuse it with a spoolie. I have this like sparse area because I think, I don't know, it's like a scar or something na sobrang nipis. But it's like a, a skin that's different. When you do have a scar, the skin... That skin is different and hindi siya agad nakakakuha or uh, nakaka, hindi dumidikit yung product in short. So you have to use, let's say, pomades or brow products na mas dumidikit sa kahit anong klaseng balat. Because if it's wax, hindi siya gaanong dumidikit. Pwede kang kumuha ng uh, brow uh, liquid, which is like a, uh, the tint pen ng, ng K-Palette. And what I do is, dun talaga sa pinakakalbo, gumagawa ako ng strands talaga. Now, set everything in place with a brow setter. I will comb everything dahil dito sa bandang dulo ng aking kilay, pababa ang strands ko. I want them up like that. Para talagang mukhang lifted yung brows. You may wait for a few seconds for it to set, then you may go back sa second coating. O oh, ba? See that? Lifted! Kamusta naman kayo? Na-achieve ba ang lifted brow? Di ba madali lang? Madali siya in a sense kapag na-practice ninyo, okay din. Pero personally speaking sa akin, medyo mahirap na hindi nga sila pantay. Pero at least kapag uh, madali na sa inyo ang paggawa ng hindi pantay na kilay, mas madali na pag gumagawa na kayo ng pantay na kilay. So again, don't forget to apply the learnings, yung mga tips na pagdating sa grooming, yung right products, and take on today's challenge. So, all you have to do is take a selfie. Kailangan fierce yung selfie para bagay sa lifted brow. And don't forget the essential hashtags, slay at home and rise a lifted brow challenge. Take your time in doing the lifted brow and post it on Instagram. Don't forget to also tag me. Pero importante matama ninyo ang spelling ng mga hashtags para makita ko kayo. We will be taking this short break and when we're back, sasagutin na natin ang inyong mga questions. Let's start with Wanos underscore Seventina. Munti kong basahin ang Waknos. <laughs> Dapat po ba talagang match ang color ng hair sa brow or a few shades lighter or darker? Dapat match siya in a sense na uh, hindi dapat parehong-pareho ng kulay. Let's say, for example, I have black hair, hindi naman dapat black yung kilay. So, dapat match siya in a sense na complementary sila sa isa't isa. So, if you have dark hair, kailangan yung uh, kulay ng kilay mo medyo nasa ash, parang dark browns or ash, lalo na sa mga black ang hair, medyo ashy tone. Kapag naman dark brown ang inyong book, go for like a dark brown or medium brown colored pencil and make sure that these uh, shades ay cool toned. Hindi dapat sila reddish and hindi rin naman sila dapat orangey, hindi rin dapat medyo green. Kailangan cool toned or yung mga tinatawag na neutral darks. From Jenna Fortaleza, ano ba mas prefer gamitin? Brow soap or brow gel to achieve kilay on fleek? Any brow product you may use to achieve kilay on fleek. But if you want to set uh, at pipili kayo either brow soap or brow gel, it depends kung anong gusto niyo ma-achieve. Usually kasi yung mga brow mascara or brow gels, um, they set they set brows 
na parang kinakote nila yung strands and then sometimes may glossy effect sila. So, for example, in my case, may pagka, minsan may ibang brown mascara, so may glossy coating and then also, mas matigas at saka parang mas, parang, mas, parang set yung kilay mo. Pero pag brow soap kasi, they coat the strands na may pagka parang, parang kung gumamit ng wax sa buhok mo. Ganun yung feel. So, softer sila, pero, pag, let's say, for example, um, nahula sila, uh, maaaring bumagsak na yung kilay mo. So, for example, if you want like feather brows na lang pataas, minsan gagamitan mo sila talaga ng matinding parang brow setter as in like mascara type. Pero pag gusto mo lang ng parang sumunod lang yung strands in place, not necessarily lahat sila ay tumayo, so brow soaps will do. Um, so, yung brow soap, mas matte sila compared sa mga brow gel or brow mascara. And from Kiazel or Kiazel, Kailangan po ba pantay ang kilay? Definitely, hindi kailangan sobrang pantay ng kilay. Sa pangalan nga na ating session for today, they're sisters and not twins. So, they don't necessarily have to be so symmetrical. Basta kailangan, syempre, huwag naman masyadong asymmetrical. Kailangan parang nalalapit sila sa isa't isa. Pero, if you see imperfections, if you see... Um, asymmetries, yung mga hindi pagpantay nila, that's perfectly fine as long as it's not totally off. For example, sa akin, ako napakadaming uh, uh, unevenness or yung hindi consistencies ng kilay ko. For example, in my case, iba yung strands dito, iba yung direction niya compared dito. Iba yung uh, kapal ng kilay ko dito compared dito. Iba yung height ng kilay ko dito compared dito. Mas mababa yung kilay ko dito kaysa dito. So, it is your natural structure sa face eh. So, uh, ang kailangan mo lang, remedyohan yung mga talagang conditions. Let's say, for example, talaga may mga gap or sparse ang kilay mo if you want like really defined. But then again, the key is you don't have to strive for perfection because your brows will never be symmetrical and that is perfectly fine. Kudos to everyone who took on the Rise and No Makeup Makeup Challenge and take on your own challenge for today, the Rise and Lifted Brow Challenge. And the essential hashtags will be right here. Don't forget to add them on your posts para makita ko sila. And also, thank you so much to Benefit Philippines for joining us today. Maraming salamat sa mga sumalin, sa mga nasa bahay na kisali sa ating workshop. Kita kits ulit tomorrow. Please, if you enjoyed and liked this workshop, don't forget to give this a thumbs up. And don't forget to get subscribed and notified by clicking the bell button below para updated kayo kapag meron na tayong panibagong session. You may also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok on Atriza Kontawi. Once again, thank you so much. This is Lay at Home, your quarantine makeup workshop. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!